Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, some of my new paints arrived, so I'm going to do a test run, because I've never used this paint before. I am going to use Satin Enamels from Deco Art. So, I couldn't get white, because everyone does like, the white fluffy clouds. I couldn't get hold of white at the moment. Um, so I was able to get one called True Teal. So I am going to do a test with this. I don't exactly know how to use it. I've watched a couple of videos, but I haven't really watched many. Um, I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. And hopefully this works out well. So I'm going to do a technique that I'm used to, which is a dirty pour. Um, I know how that works when I use the Deco Art um, Americana Metallics. So I thought if I do the same type of technique, but just use the satin enamel, hopefully I'll get um, different results. Uh, well, similar results, but in a different way. So that is my plan. So what I have is, I have made up three colors. I have Phthalo Blue in Montmartre paint, which is 25 grams paint, 50 grams Floetrol, and 7 grams water. Then I have made up a white, because I want it to be more primarily white with some blue in it. The white is 50 grams paint, 100 grams Floetrol, and 15 grams water. Then I have made the Satin Enamel, which was 25 grams paint, 25 grams Floetrol, and 2 grams water. So, the way it is mixed, I don't know if you can see, it is leaving a slight little mound. Um, I've only made these up about 15 minutes ago, so there's a tiny little mound, but then it kind of disappears quite quick. So I think that's the texture or the consistency that you're supposed to do it with. So same with this. It, if you do a little trace, it does actually leave a little bit of a mark there, but it disappears relatively quickly. I, I don't know. I, I sometimes think I'm better off to just try it and see how I go. So again, it's not really leaving a mound, but it's not disappearing. So that is the plan. So I'm just going to get stuck into it. I'm just going to do white, blue, white, teal, white, blue, white, teal in a dirty pour and see how it turns out. I'm hoping to get fluffy teal clouds because I'm not going to get white clouds. Um, I should be able to get hold of some white soon. The problem is, is postage to get here, sometimes it takes its time. It's never a quick process. Um, so we're just over here on my side of the country. We're separated from the rest of the country by a vast amount of space um, literally to get to the next city it would take us at least more than two days driving 24 hours a day like day and night so we're isolated over here so things always take time especially with not many planes and all that going at the moment which I'm I'm a little bit impatient I'm not hugely impatient. I when it, when it comes to paint, I want it. I want it now, but I'm not going to cry because it's not here. I just wish I had it to try with. So I don't think I'm going to get as much solid white as I was hoping because it looks like it's mixing really well, actually. But I can see the this satin enamel making effects in the cup. So 
hopefully it might just end up being a nice blue artwork with different shades of blue and with um cloud pearls or whatever that I, I don't actually know what they're called apart from clouds I'm going to call them cloud pearls okay for now until I figure out the right terminology So it's going to be roughly the same amount of paint as if I was doing one of my dirty metallic, dirty pearl pores. So usually when I do my dirty pearl pores, this cup is nearly full. If anything, it looks like I may have slightly a little bit less paint. But we will make it work. I'm just excited I get to try this. I did get it a few days ago, but I have been so busy. Um, Just getting so many things done and organized and I have a, a full-time job <clears throat> and I I also have a horticultural career which I am pursuing so um, I do I'm doing talks on the radio so I got to go do a talk on the radio on the weekend which is kind of um, taking a bit of brain power because as much as I can do the talks and I've done them times before I still get nervous which I think is a good trait to have if you get nervous that means that you're not um <laughs> I'm, I'm confident to a degree I know what I'm doing with plants but I'm yeah but that will be quite fun that's enjoyable so I am pinching the cup this looks awesome in here. I don't know. I may just get a whole painting full of blue. That's why I tried making it a lot more whiter. Because I was hoping to get different... Um, I didn't want it to be too solidly blue. But it looks like I'm going to get more blue than I actually planned for. I was hoping to get some nice blues and some teals and white with beautiful teal clouds kind of poking their way through. But we will just have to see. And from here, I because this is the first time I've actually used it, I've only opened the bottle or the jar 20 minutes ago to mix the paint. This is what teaches me what to do and what not to do for the future. So I'm just holding my canvas slightly because for some reason, when I do a dirty pour, I always seem to lose stuff off this edge, which I don't know why. It could just be the way I hold my cup. I can still see this spreading out. So once I can see that it's not moving and not spreading, because it is still continuously spreading over this end, and once that end and this end are a bit more even, I just don't want to lose my paint over the edge. Because I, from what I have seen, you've got to let this settle for a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's coming back down this end again. I need a pop stick or two. So while that's doing that, I'm going to torch it and get rid of these air bubbles. <clears throat>
so close to running over this edge, I'm going to have to put a third little pop stick under there. So when this happens, I just put an extra pop stick under. So now I have three, just a little bit hoping to push it back the way. If this starts going over the edge, I'm going to tilt. So in preparation, I'm getting gloves on. It's going over the edge now, which means I'm going to have to tilt. I will be using my corner catcher. I don't know if I should be or not. Like I said, I haven't really watched many videos of this, um, of people doing this. I've seen photos and things, but I haven't really spent the time watching what to do. So. Yep, that's not wet. So like normal, I always have my corner that I always seem to go to first. And I'm just going to take it slow. When paint looks like it's about to start pouring over the edges, then I go a little bit quicker. Right now, in that corner quickly. Come on, paint. Alrighty. Now I'm going to head down to this corner. Okay. So since I ordered this blue, um, I did find a white, but I have no idea how long that's going to take to arrive. Some things I order from Australia, I've ordered a couple of things from Amazon. Um, so I just have to be patient and wait for things to turn up. I ordered something from England the other day. Because that was the only place I saw that had it. So corner. Come back. Then I can take my catcher off. So I'm hoping I get more of those billowy clouds. We will just have to wait and see. In the corner, yep. Come back. Take the catcher off. Now, I'm going to get this right out of my way. Check my corners. Make sure they are painted. I hate it when I do this. I, I did this one of these the other day and I watched the video back later on and I'm like, my hair was such a mess. You guys must be thinking, what a, what is he doing with his hair? <laughs> I know my mum made a comment when she saw the video. <laughs> so I've just got to wiggle it around. I don't want to take off much of that deep blue over that end. I'm really liking that blue. If there is any part you want to remove, you are best to do it now. Um, do I want to get rid of that one little corner? I might get rid of that corner over here. wasn't the right angle that I was looking for. The corner catcher sometimes changes the way that the, um, the paint is. So 
So when I poured this into the cup, I was actually getting quite, um, I could see cells forming. But now that it's on the canvas, I'm getting a couple up here. Maybe I need to keep stretching. Maybe there's still too much paint. Now there's a few forming up the top there in the darker blue. Pull it up, bring it down. Maybe get rid of a little bit more paint then. Like I said, because I haven't done this before, I'm actually not 100% sure of what I am supposed to be doing. Maybe I should have watched more videos. I just like having fun. This is like, why not enjoy myself, figure it out. Sometimes figuring things out for yourself is actually half the fun. Even though you can watch a video and see how everybody else has done it, it's like, well, I just might use these ingredients and go for a test run. Maybe I should heat an area up and see if that does anything. Because the satin enamel was mixed throughout the whole cup. Uh, that's why I pour it in in layers. So I do a bit at the bit at the bottom, a bit in the middle, a bit in the top. I think I poured it in four or five times. So it would have been throughout the whole cup, not just in one section. So, I'm just moving the blowtorch around in a circle over this corner, seeing if anything is developing from heat. And by the looks of it, it's not heat reactive like a silicon is. So I'm going to stop that because it makes my blowtorch really hot and I don't like it because um, I don't want it to touch anything. Okay, so do I tip off any more paint and keep swirling the paint around? I'm definitely getting a few up here, a couple over here, and down the side here. And the edges of my canvas are like when I do a pearl pour. On this side more so. I don't know whether I should just let it sit and wait. Maybe I'll do that. I'll pause it, sit and wait for a little bit, and come back to it. And if it hasn't done any, any more pearls, or cloud pearls, whatever they're called, then I might tip a little bit more off this corner here and try and bring that down and stretch it a bit that way. See how that works. Might as well have a try. So I'm going to pause it and we will come back. Okay, so it's been maybe seven minutes. So <clears throat> what I did was I scraped the bottom because that, for two reasons. One, so more paint doesn't pull off. And two, so you can see if there's one side which is still going to drip more than others. And it's not actually dripping anymore. But I've still got these up here. But I haven't really got anything down that end. So I am going to tilt. A bit down this way. I'm going to pour off a bit of this corner trying not to lose my center. 
So just taking it easy, stretching it out. Okay, now I'm going to lift this corner and push it back. This may not do anything at all. But as they say, you've got to do things to learn things. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to push these ones off. So one thing I have noticed is the satin colour I used was the teal. But the satin pearls I'm getting is all the phalo blue. I'm not really getting reactions in the teal I'm getting reactions in the phalo blue here and here so that's interesting to know um, I'm still liking this I, I think this is awesome it's just not what I had envisioned it was going to be I see pearl paws in photos and this doesn't really look so much like a pearl paw but who knows, maybe the teal works differently to the white. Because as we know, certain pearl colours um, do react differently to other pearl colours. So, maybe to get the proper fluffy clouds, I have to use the white. But I'm still loving it. So pop any bubbles from where I just stretched. really seem to be causing any other reactions it looks like I could get a couple more pearls come up through here but these are awesome because they are a mixture of colors they are they're not just plain phalo blue they're um, an assortment of colors in there so this is really cool I'm really glad that I tested it out to see how it it, it works um, just going to drizzle a little bit over this edge. And scrape it again. Because I forgot, I've just tilted again, so there's going to be more coming off. So... This was a fun experiment. I am going to probably go back and watch a couple more videos before I do another one. Like normal, um, I did watch one or two videos of Julie Cuts. Um, I really like Julie. She's been inspirational to a lot of my um, a lot of my work. I find her an excellent teacher. She explains things well. Um, and I, I don't mind listening to her. Some people you can understand easier than others. I'm Australian. I quite easily understand Australian accents. Um, I can understand some American accents better than others. Um, usually the, the, 
the quite pronounced accent. Sometimes it's a little bit harder for me to comprehend. Um, but yeah, and it's just fun. You know, watch what lots of people do because you will find people do things quite differently and people use different um, paints. So I'm using Montmartre when I think most times people have been using Liquitex Basics. But from what I've learnt with making a pearl pour, Liquitex Basics works with them, but so does Montmartre. So I thought, hey, um, Liquitex Basics are quite expensive here in Australia. Um, so i quite happy to, to do a lot of my testing on the Montmartre because it's a fair bit cheaper for me to buy. Um, and I can get them locally easily. Um, lately, the Liquitex Basics have been a little bit of a challenge to get hold of. But I'm going to leave this as it is. Um, I think if I try to keep messing around with it, I'm going to lose my circle. But I feel like it's got... It does have more happening over this end. But it, this end's not boring. It's just kind of a bit different. This is a bit more swirly. That's a bit more... I don't know, organic probably is the best way to describe it, even though that's a really generalised term. <laughs> but hopefully as it sits, it may change a bit more. It may not. I'm not too fussed. I'm, I'm still pleased. So I'm going to bring you for, for, for a close-up. Oh, wow. This was a longer video than I had thought it was going to be. Sorry about that, everyone. But yeah, so this is my first attempt at a um, cloud pour. Is that what it is? Oh, my brain's not working. But yeah, art, um, artwork looks pretty cool. I like it. Here we, let's go in on these pearls or cloud pearls. And then this is quite flowing and got lots of nice effects in it. More pearls off to the side. Kind of lose them over here. And then we got the ring part down this end and my centerpiece. I don't know if we can see the edge of the canvas very well. But see there's pearls or cloud pearls developing on the edges. So I'm quite pleased with that. Whoops. First time I nearly just dropped my phone into the artwork. So this is it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try it yourself and see, and let me know what effects you get or how it worked for you. So I'm going to do this again. Um, I'm just going to watch more videos before I do another one. So I hope you enjoyed. So subscribe, share, like, comment, and I will see you tomorrow for another artwork. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.